Hey everybody, my name is Natalie Duncan Edmonds. I wanted to thank you for listening to this episode of The Morning Show. I'm the creator, the producer, and the host of the show. We want you to check out our website. It's themorningshowwithnatalie.com. You can go to that website. You can see all about our sponsors, all about the show. You can even listen to live episodes while they're going on right there from the, the website. Another way to listen to the show live is go to Live365. You can download that app and just search for The Morning Show. It's right there. Super easy. We want you to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel, if you will. That way you can keep up with what's going on on The Morning Show. Thank you. I hope you enjoy it. Hey friend, it's great to have you tuned into The Morning Show today. Here on The Morning Show, you'll hear your favorite Southern gospel music and some of the classics you'll never forget. And now, the hostess of The Morning Show, Natalie Duncan Emmons. When you wake up to the storm and all you feel are the waves crashing against your boat, you wonder if anybody remembers you or the journey that you're on. When you feel discouraged from what you see on the news or the events going on around you, well, friend, cut it off. Don't look to the left or to the right. Look up. And when everything inside of you is screaming to be afraid, to accept defeat, or to hand our enemy a victory, well, you need to sing. And then keep singing. Sing it some more. For we are God's people. And that's just what God's people do. Well, we sing. We said sing from a laughing heart to sing. When the night is dark, to sing. Let your joy explode and let music fill the air. Sent on flashing wings to fill the sky with song, put music in the brook and crashing sea. The wind blew through the threads of grass like fingers through the streams of golden harps and made the meadows sing. Then he said, Sing from a laughing heart to sing when the night is dark, you sing, let your joy. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving, and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him, and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth to all. Then he said, sing, from a laughing heart, just sing, when the night is dark, just sing, let your joy explode and let music fill the air. You can sing, when there's nothing else to do, sing, when something deep inside of you tells you that life is still a wonder, just go back to hell and sing. Then he 
Natalie Duncan Emmons, you are listening to The Morning Show. This is our birthday week here on the show. We will be officially one year old tomorrow. Tomorrow is the big day, and to celebrate, we're having our very first morning show panel. Now, a panel is a group of more than two, so there will be three of us tomorrow. Now, we've never done this before, but here we go. The original co-host, my sister Nicole Smith, she will be here tomorrow along with Kara Smith from Kara Smith Photography. And your humble host here, I will be the third one on the panel. And we will take tomorrow to celebrate the last year, the one year of the morning show. We'll talk about the highlights of the year, some of our favorite moments, some of our favorite songs, our favorite artists. Just talk about what a great year it has been. So we're looking forward to tomorrow and having that morning show panel. <laughs> it's either going to be really good or a real big mess. I don't know. But I'm feeling good about it. I'm feeling really good. That's going to be a lot of fun. Don't miss that tomorrow. Big day ahead as well. Lots of news stories to talk about. And, of course, the very best mix in Southern gospel music. Because that's just what we do here on the morning show. And I believe we do it.
Someone asked me just this weekend, do you have your Christmas tree down yet? The answer is no. Uh, I was a little ashamed, a little embarrassed to admit that when they asked me that. But no, I do not. I have not taken anything down, my tree down, nothing. I, it, my house still looks like Christmas. But I came across an article just yesterday. This is uh, put out by the website Mental Floss. Ellen Gutowski, she wrote this. And it says that Queen Elizabeth kept her holiday decorations up through the month of February. February the 6th is the day that Queen Elizabeth allowed the Christmas decorations to come down every year when Queen Elizabeth was still alive. This went on for decades and decades and decades. And it's simply because she spends the holiday season at her stately Norfolk country residence. I believe that's the Sandringham house. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. But that's the home she inherited from her father, King George the Sixth. He died on February the 6th. So she always stays at that estate through the holidays until February the 6th to commemorate his death there at the country estate through the, on, on that day. So she never came back to London until February the 6th and no decorations were allowed to come down until she was there. She was always a part of decorations going up. She was a part of decorations going down. And so until she returned, nothing was to come down. Now, they're saying that Prince Charles has already broken this tradition. And she did this tradition for decades, like over 50 years she did this. And he says he's coming back some point in January. He is not staying till February the 6th. So they may come down a little sooner this year. But my whole point in mentioning any of this is simply that if the queen could do it, if the queen of England could leave her Christmas decorations up till February the 6th, then we should feel no shame. If we still have ours up today's January the 9th, hey, we've still got three or four weeks. Why are we in a rush? The queen can do it. So you say you're thinking of walking away but it sure ain't because you didn't try You're telling me That you just need to breathe And take a little break for a while But once you go out wandering There's no guarantee You'll have the chance to make it back To where you need to be so stay home, stay here I know out there looks so much better But your vision isn't clear Cause it ain't what it seems The devil's always painting pictures Framing up your hopes and dreams Your father's gonna miss you if you're gone so please stay home deep down inside let go of your pride there's no shame in coming to your knees and i know it's tough you've been through more than enough and it just be so much easier to leave but I promise you there'll come a time You're gonna miss what you left behind The light's still on, you can come inside Grace is holding out the key Stay home, stay here I know out there looks so much better But your vision isn't clear Call the name, what it seems the devil's always painting pictures, framing up your hopes and dreams. Your father's gonna miss you if you're gone. So please stay home.
stay at home, stay here. I know out there looks so much better, but your vision isn't clear. Big news coming from Star C Suites this week. This is pretty big. They're putting out their Valentine's special menu. And, guys, you need to know about this because this is a perfect Valentine's gift for your wife. If you don't know what to get, you don't have time to shop for a gift, well, there's something to try because here's all you have to do. You've got to order it from Heather Compton, pick it up, put it in the oven, light a candle when she gets there, and you have a candle-lit meal for Valentine's. She won't have to cook. She won't have to get dressed up to go wait in line somewhere at a restaurant. She just gets to come home. Here's what you can get from Star Sea Sweets. You can pick from four entrees, lasagna, chicken spaghetti, cheesy chicken broccoli or rice, or hamburger steak and gravy. You can pick a side, green beans, corn, steamed carrots or rice, and you can pick a dessert, the white chocolate bread pudding, which you can never go wrong with that. Red velvet cake, chocolate cake, or a dozen cupcakes. Whatever suits your fancy, but the orders must be turned in by Wednesday, February the 1st. So we'll keep telling you about this until February the 1st. You can get the entire meal for $100. You can't go out to eat at a really nice place and get that much food for $100. You'll never get it. 601-900-0214. Get your order in today before it's too late. Got to order it by 2023. In celebration of the upcoming release of Tribute Quartet's project, Always Grace. Three winners will receive this new project on CD, vinyl, and USB. Always Grace from Tribute Quartet releases January 27th. Be sure to register for your chance to win the Always Grace Prize Pack. We'll draw three winners January 31st. Southern Gospel Prizes for Southern Gospel fans. SouthernGospelPrizes.com Music, ministry, and more. It's The Morning Show with Natalie Duncan Emmons. You're listening to The Morning Show. And now, with your patriotic point of view, here's Larry Gresson. Mutual of Omaha's Wild Kingdom was a fantastic show hosted by Marlon Perkins that introduced American viewers to fascinating animals. The show was aided by naturalist Jim Fowler and Stan Brock, and many of the shows were filmed in their natural habitat. This American documentary television program featured wildlife and nature. Originally produced from 1963 to 1988, it was revived in 2022. Wild Kingdom was first broadcast by NBC. As a primetime syndicated program, Wild Kingdom enjoyed great popularity. Perkins often introduced commercial spots by tying them into the subject of the show. For example, at the end of a segment about lions, he might say something like, just as the mother lion protects her cubs, you can protect your children with an insurance policy from Mutual of Omaha. Perkins often featured pet chimpanzees in the studio, particularly one named W.K. and another named Mr. Moe. Although most of the programs aired after 1971 were repeats, new shows continued to be produced until 1987. Perkins was the host for most of the show's history until he was forced to retire in 1985 for health reasons, and Jim Fowler, Perkins' longtime assistant and sidekick, became the host. Perkins died of cancer one year later at the age of 81. Mutual of Omaha's Wild King, great American television. I'm Larry Gresson with the patriotic point of view. The patriotic point of view was brought to you by Joe McGee Construction. Joe McGee Construction believes family is one of God's greatest gifts. Family owned and operated for the past 33 years, Joe McGee Construction is the proud employer of some of Mississippi's best tradesmen. 
Together, we are supporting our communities and working hard to ensure that every commute to work and every ride to school brings us safely home to our loved ones. Valuing faith, family, and the Magnolia State, Joe McGee Construction is building safer roads for a better Mississippi. Joe McGee is my friend, and I thank him for helping us bring you the best mix of Southern Gospel music, along with your patriotic point of view here on The Morning Show. Stepped out of my pew Walked down the aisle My running days were through I knelt at the altar Just as I am Gave my life to the Father And left a brand If you don't like that one, I can't do much for you. That's a new one from Southbound, Lost and Found. Here's the new release from our friends from Michigan, the Justified Quartet. Turn your back. I love Tim Caldwell. He's on the base here. If you're tired of the life you're living, if you're taking more than you've been giving, if 
Your life seems a little more lonely every day. Turn your back to the life you're leading. Turn your back to the voice you're heeding. Turn your eyes to the morning star who loves you for what you show will turn one year old january the 10th is our birthday so be sure and tune in tomorrow as we celebrate one full year of the morning show we'll reminisce about our favorite songs our favorite artists and our favorite moments and we'll do it with some guests it's going to be a great day so be sure and be here tomorrow celebrate the birthday today i went back to the place where I used to go Today I saw That same old crowd I knew before 
time they asked me what had happened, I tried to tell them. Thanks to Calvary, I don't come here and more. <laughs> Thanks to Calvary, I am not the man that I used to be. Thanks to Calvary, things are different than While the tears ran down my face I tried to tell them Thanks to Calvary We don't come here anymore anymore. Oh, sing on Then we went back to the house where we used to live. <laughs> My little boy ran and hid behind the door. And I said, son, oh, little boy, don't be afraid because you've got a brand new daddy now. <laughs> To Calvary, we don't live here. That's right. And more. Thanks to Calvary, I am not the dad that I used to be. Thanks to Calvary, things are different than before and Joe while the tears ran down my face I tried to tell my little boy I said son thanks to Cal thanks to Cal we don't live here no Thank God we don't live here anymore. Well, this has sparked a debate on the social media world. I thought we would talk about it a little bit on the morning show. See how you feel about it. We've all heard of paying it forward at a drive through We've all experienced that, or I hope you have experienced that. I have. I've been through a drive through When you get there to pay for your order, the cashier looks at you and says, the person ahead of you paid for your order. They paid it forward, and your order has been paid for. It's a great feeling. It makes you want to do something good for somebody else. Well, now, a TikTok user has sparked a debate after explaining why he chose to end a pay-it-forward line at a fast food drive through His name is Darius. He went to a Bojangles just a week or so ago, and he found himself right in the middle of a pay-it-forward line. It's been going on for several cars before he got to the Bojangles. In a TikTok video, Darius explained that he ordered $15 worth of food that he was surprised and appreciative when he learned that the car in front of him had paid for his meal. The employee at the store told Darius that he was part of a pay-it-forward line which had already involved multiple customers, and as a result, they asked Darius whether he wanted to join the trend by covering the cost for the person behind him. And Darius claimed that that woman had almost run him over when he was trying to get into the restaurant. But... Feeling generous, Darius asked how much the car behind him had spent. And when he learned it was $45.38, he said, absolutely not. Actually, to quote Darius, he said, I didn't sign up to feed the $5,000. $45 at a Bojangle is crazy, and I'm not doing that. (laughs) 
Well, the TikToker did make sure to share his thanks for the person who paid for his food. But his decision to end the line of generosity, it sparked a good bit of debate among many viewers. Now, some agreed with his decision to end the line over the cost of the food, with one person explaining that they would only be willing to pay it forward if the person before them had less or equal cost to their food. Otherwise, it would be a no. And some viewers have responded, well, at least he could have put the amount he was going to spend on his food on their meal. Even if you're not going to pay the entire $45, his meal was 15 He could have put his $15 on their $45 meal. That would have brought it down to 30 right? That would have helped a little bit. What do you think? Did Darius do the right thing? Got his meal for free. Didn't pay a dime. The person behind him paid the full $45. I don't know. It's just a debate. I'd like to know how you feel about it. I can understand Darius not wanting to spend $45 at the Bojangles when he just bought $15 worth. I get it. But it looks like to me Darius could have put his $15 in. If someone was kind enough to pay his meal, well, even if you don't want to pay extra, you could put what it would have cost you anyway on the next person. That's strictly up to Darius. We can't make him do anything. It's just his call. 601-616-4066. I sure would love to know your opinion about Darius not paying it forward. What do you think? Passing it on, giving it back. Living the life of blessing on the fast track. Everything I have is borrowed On loan from the Father above Why should I worry about tomorrow If I'm doing what I can to show love Passing it on Passing it on There's so much life has afforded me A comfy house and my family how could I be troubled or complain? With so much I am thankful for, God's blessing me with even more. So with everything heaven sends my way, passing it on, giving it back, living a life of blessing on the fast track. Everything I have is borrowed, on loan from the Father. Why should I worry about tomorrow if I'm doing what I can to show love? Passing it on. Passing it on. I get so lost in my comfort zone, but no one's living this life alone. We all need each other now and then. It could be a See just how much we can do if we learn to make the world our friend. Passing it on, giving it back, living a life of blessing on the fast track. Everything I have is borrowed, on loan from the Father above. Why should I worry about tomorrow if I'm doing what I can to show love? Passing it on. Passing it on, giving it back, living the life of blessing on the fast track. Everything I have is borrowed on loan from the Father above. Why should I worry about tomorrow if I'm doing what I can to show love? Passing it on. Passing it on. He pulls up to 
a mailbox in the middle of the night leave some money for a family who are facing hard times he's a keeper she's leaning on a walker and she's leaning on her lord and her son invest she welcomes folks walking through the Keep on showing love. They keep on serving others. No one sees but the Lord above. They keep on persevering. They're never letting up. Hallelujah for the faithful believers. Thank God for the keepers. She drops in for a visit to a neighbor. chapter the story of their lives expecting nothing in return all for the cause of christ they keep on sharing jesus they keep on showing love they keep on serving others no one sees but the lord above they keep on If you're looking for grass-fed beef that's USDA certified, look no further than our friends at JNL Farms. JNL Farms raises 100% grass-fed beef with no additives. JNL Farms sells steaks, ribeye, sirloins, New York strip, or any of your favorite steak cuts. They also sell roast, hamburger meat, any kind of specialty beef you want, they can get it done for you. Grass-fed beef is a healthy choice because it's leaner and has significantly lower levels of saturated fat. It's also higher in vitamins and antioxidants. It's simply a healthier choice for your body. So for special pricing or requests, pick up locations, you need to call our friend Larry Mathis at JNL Farms at 601-917-8063. That's 601-917-8063. Be good to your heart. Make the healthy choice. Choose delicious, grass-fed beef from JNL Farms.
all his people out. But Pharaoh's heart was hard and he thought he'd give them the route. So he chased them all down to the Red Sea shore. He thought he wouldn't have to worry about old Moses anymore. But Moses stretched his rod out over the sea. And the Lord answered Moses with a little gentle breeze. I can see Moses now with a smile on his face. Telling God's people with his gentle grace. I got a feeling everything's gonna be alright. Oh, I got a feeling everything's gonna be alright. At such a funny little sight A little shepherd boy Armed only with a sling Beside mighty Goliath Seems such a puny little thing But David said You come to me with spear and a sword I come to you In the name of the Lord He put in a stone And he gave it a fling And when it left his hand David he began to sing They thought they'd won the war, but soon they would not be laughing anymore. On that first Easter morning, when the sun woke up the earth, and the caverns of the deep opened up as to give birth to a resurrected Savior with healing in his wings. Now the host of children rise and sing. I've got a feeling. morning show will turn one year old january the 10th is our birthday so be sure and tune in tomorrow as we celebrate one full year of the morning show we'll reminisce about our favorite songs our favorite artists and our favorite moments and we'll do it with some guests it's going to be a great day so be sure and be here tomorrow celebrate the birthday stay tuned the best is yet to come you're listening to the morning show and here's your pastor's perspective brought to you today by Brother Larry Duncan from Salem Baptist Church in Lake Mississippi. We are beginning a new year, 2023. And when we consider the new year, somehow we hope at the beginning of this new year that we will be more successful than we were in the year past. We hope that we will be better people than we were last year that we will be kinder, that we will be more generous, more loving, more understanding, and more tolerant of our fellow man. And hopefully we will. There are several things that I'd like for us to consider about this new year. Number one, the uncertainty of it. The word has a negative sound to it. To say that the future is uncertain, we confess that we have no control over it at all and certainly we do not. 
there is the uncertainty of life. James said, whereas ye know not what shall be on the morrow, for what is your life? It is even a vapor that appeareth for a little time and then vanishes away. For that ye ought to say, if the Lord will, we shall live and do this or that. Hopefully we will all live through the new year, but life is uncertain. There is liberty also that is uncertain. Webster says the word liberty means freedom from restraint. Natural liberty, civil liberty, and political liberty all have the same definition, consisting in the power of acting as one sees fit. We pray that God will help us, that our liberty will remain. Our liberty in all of these categories is in serious danger. Someone once said, the only thing that's needed for evil to prevail is for good men to do nothing. Good men in these days are very good at doing nothing. I'm Larry Duncan, and this is your Pastor's Perspective. The Pastor's Perspective was brought to you by Salem Baptist Church in Lake Mississippi. Salem is my home church, and I'm thrilled that they've partnered with The Morning Show to help us bring you, well, not only the best music in the world, but encouragement and words of life straight from God's Word. Brother Larry Duncan and the entire congregation at Salem, they invite you to come and visit whenever you get the chance. We're located just a few miles off of I-20 coming through mid-Mississippi. So if you live in our area, if you're ever traveling through our area on a Sunday morning, Sunday night, Wednesday night, well, you stop off the lake exit and visit with us. Thank you to Salem Baptist Church for bringing you your pastor's perspective. have come too far to turn back now there's an end inside we see and the lord has brought us safe thus far with his grace and perfect peace but too many battles have been lost with the finish line inside so let us keep the faith and win this race before the day turns into night. When you're halfway up the mountain, there's no time to rest a while. When you're halfway to your victory, you must go that extra mile. Just keep So let us just keep traveling on. traveling on When you're halfway up the mountain There's no time to rest a while When you're halfway to your victory You must go that extra mile Just keep pressing on Though the road is long When your feet get tired Still you must walk
Like a soldier with no armor In the middle of a battle I was broken I was broken It was only getting darker In the valley of the shadow I was hopeless I was hopeless I never thought that I would ever see the day When every single chain would break sin and shame away now every song i sing will be for him ever since the moment he walked in then christ came i was searching for a reason to believe that i could ever really matter I don't know enough about this story to really talk about it. I really don't have any business trying to relay this to you. But I'm fascinated by it. I think it's a really, really big deal. All right, this is coming from the Southwest News Services. I believe they're pretty legit. I I believe we can bank on this. Here's what the article says. Introducing the world's first tractor, powered completely by what else? Cow manure. Actually, cow dung is what they say but I feel more comfortable saying cow manure. A British company has developed the first tractor in the world to be completely powered by cow manure. You heard me correctly. That is all that powers this tractor, this cow manure. Here's what they say. The liquid methane gas-powered T7 vehicle is said to be the first of its kind and could mark a turning point in efficient energy supply on farms. This is good news to the farmer. Yes, it is. The pioneering 270 BHP tractor runs on fuel that is captured from farmyard manure and is said to match the performance of standard diesel-powered versions. No difference in the two. This one's just as good as a diesel-powered tractor. It works by collecting waste byproducts from a herd as small as 100 cows. So if you've got 100 cows on your farm, you have enough to power 
this tractor on your farm. Do whatever you want to do. So it collects the byproducts from the herd. It puts it into a biomethane storage unit that's kept there on the farm. The gas, known as a fugitive methane, is then treated, compressed, and turned into a low-emission fuel. Have you ever heard of such in your life? It wasn't long ago they were blaming everything that's wrong with our environment on the cows. You remember that? You remember AOC and releasing the Green New Deal? And everything was the cow's fault. The cow, the farmer and the cow. And now, in Britain, they are making tractors that simply run off of cow manure. So they're trying to help the farmer over there, it looks like to me. And they're doing a good job. So we need to give the cows a break. That's what we need to do. Because these cows are a lot more useful, looks like to me. Looks like to me that we are giving them credit for. I think an apology, actually, is in order to these cows. Somebody needs to apologize. I'll wait. Well, here's Mr. Carl's story. i tell you right now whose side Mr. Carl's story would be on. He would be on the cow's side. No doubt. While I was praying, somebody touched me. While I was praying, somebody touched me. While I was praying, somebody touched me. It must have been the hand of her Lord. song you give 
give, I'll sing it back to you. Let it be an anthem of your grace, a symphony of praise, lifting up your name forever. And Lord, let me live a melody that would sing of Calvary and all the mercy is I've been given. Then, Lord, let the song of my life be music to your ears. And let it be a anthem of your grace, a symphony Lifting up your name forever, and Lord, let me live a melody that would sing of Calvary, and all the mercies I've been given, then Lord, let the song of my life be music to your ears. to your ears Tomorrow the morning show will turn one year old. January the 10th is our birthday. So be sure and tune in tomorrow as we celebrate one full year of the morning show. We'll reminisce about our favorite songs, our favorite artists, and our favorite moments. And we'll do it with some guests. It's going to be a great day, so be sure and be here tomorrow to celebrate the birthday. Here's the new one by the three Heath brothers. Everybody likes it. It's really, really good. It's called Jesus is Coming Back. thought that the world has kind of lost its way as crazy as it seems yet i know it's gonna be okay you see it doesn't scare me it's temporary there's something better we've got forever and it won't be long because we know our help is on the way the way to keep your head Nobody knows the day or time, no, the trumpet's gonna blow and the skies are gonna open wide, open wide, he's coming for us, just like he told us, it's been a long wait, but there's a new day and we're gonna sing hallelujah when the king arrives, hallelujah, keep your head up, Jesus is coming back. Coming back, Jesus is coming back, and when the world gets complicated, we're gonna keep on celebrating, cause we know, Jesus is coming back, Jesus is coming back. The Word of God says that Jesus is gonna descend from heaven like a thief in the night. It's time for us to be ready. We don't know the day, and we don't know the hour. All we know is that soon we are going to see the king. So, what about you? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? People get ready. Coming back, Jesus is coming back. So don't you give up? 
Well, I want to talk to you about the good folks over at Hometown Roots in Sebastopol, Mississippi. If you like a sweatshirt, and I do like a sweatshirt, this is your time to visit Hometown Roots because they've got sweatshirts in. And I love a sweatshirt, a hoodie. I love that kind of thing. Just in time for Valentine's because it's going to be right here. You think this is early to be talking about it, but it'll be here before you know it. They've got white sweatshirts with pink hearts. It's adorable. You need one of those. But what I like even better, they have a white sweatshirt with a gray heart. And I love anything gray. So I love these sweatshirts. They're in for Valentine's. you got to get one of those. If you are a Sebastopol Bobcat, we do have a lot of listeners in the area. And if you're not from here, you won't care anything about this. But they have sweatshirts that say the Bobcats on there. I'm going to try to get one of those if they still have my size available. Back to Valentine's, they also have T-shirts. So if you don't like the sweatshirts, if you're not cold-natured, you don't want to be hot, well, they have precious T-shirts for Valentine's. So Valentine's is coming up. Now's the time to act and get prepared for it. You need to get to Hometown Roots now or just look on the fake book. I'm looking right now. And they just have all kind of things for Valentine's. So you need to check it out immediately. Here's Francesca Battistelli. God is good. Thought I could build on life. 
myself sinking sand But now I can't even walk Without you holding my hand I thought I could do A lot on my own I thought I could make it Listening this morning to the morning show with Natalie Duncan Emmons. Stay tuned, the best is yet to come. Now it's time for Moments That Motivate with humorist Tim Lovelace. In the springtime, I get my boat ready for the lake. My to do list includes things like renewing my boat license, connecting batteries, inspecting fuel lines, and making sure I have a first aid kit and fire extinguisher. I also make sure I have plenty of sunscreen because I usually catch more UV rays than fish. And finally, I make sure that the line to my anchor is in good condition. Now, my family and I love taking the boat to our favorite cove. In fact, the only way to get to that particular cove is by boat. It has a huge rope swing attached to a large tree. We anchor about 50 feet from the swing, then swim to the shore. We enjoy swinging out on the rope and dropping into the cool water without one thought of being stranded because there's one thing I'm sure of. I know the anchor will hold. You know, an anchor always seems small compared to the size of the boat. Did you know that a large cargo ship can weigh up to 220,000 tons? That's about as heavy as the Sears Tower. And yet, the anchor holds. And in Hebrews 6, 9, it delivers some exciting news. It assures us that hope is an anchor of the soul, both sure and steadfast. And it's such a comfort to know we have an anchor of hope. So hold on to the promise that if the problem you're facing seems larger than a barge and your anchor of hope seems small, it will indeed hold. So go ahead and enjoy the cool water of his love, confidently knowing 
that your hope is anchored to the rock of ages. To learn more about humorist, speaker, and storyteller Tim Lovelace, or to find out when Tim will be in your area, go to timlovelace.com. And be sure to follow Tim on social media. started itching, I lost a feeling in my lower lip. Then my eyes flew open like saucers, and my heart started racing like a stallion. I jumped up, knocked over somebody's computer, and yelled, I should have learned Italian. It's a coffee world, coffee. What we're living in, today. living in today. And you need to be bilingual, to know the right words to say. Your head will be spinning, be spinning. like you're riding on a tilt of world. You gotta know caffeine lingo when you're living in a coffee world well i drove home scalding my tires not saying i was speeding but a cheetah on fire would have never had a chance of catching up with me i painted the house cleaned the garage up nice i raked the yard and mowed it twice then i heard my wife call the coffee shop and ask do you make deliveries it's a coffee world coffee we're world. living Today. And you need to be bilingual to know the right words to say. Your head will be spinning, spinning. like you're riding on a tilt of world. You gotta know that caffeine lingo when you're living in a coffee world. A coffee world. You gotta know that caffeine lingo when you're living in a coffee world. I think the next time I'm gonna try one of those venti caramel macchiatos with soy milk. The comedy segment was brought to you by John G. Weatherford Incorporated. John G. Weatherford Incorporated? Well, they're proud to be connected to the morning show. They're known to most as Weatherford Oil. They're a third generation owned and operated family business that values God, family, employees, and customers. For over 40 years, they've been providing diesel, gasoline, motor oil, hydraulic fluid, grease, and logging supplies to some of Mississippi's best loggers, farmers, chicken growers, land managers, municipalities, individuals, and convenience stores. Whether you need large or small quantities, well, they'd love the opportunity to talk to you about supplying all of your fuel and oil needs. With two locations, they proudly serve Scott, Lauderdale, Newton, Smith, Neshoba, Jasper, Clark, Kemper, Rankin, and Leak Counties. If you appreciate Weatherford Oil helping to bring you the morning show, well, we would appreciate it if you'd call John at Meridian, 601-693-0981, 601-693-0981, or Jason in Forest, 601-469-3931, that's 601 601- Four six nine three nine three one, and let them take care of all of your fuel and oil needs. We appreciate them. We appreciate you. Jesus told the chosen his body would be broken, but he would surely rise from the dead. He did it like he said it. And then when he ascended, he promised he'd be coming back again. He didn't stay dead and he won't stay gone. He'll roll back the clouds like he rolled back the stone. If you trust his word, rest assured you can't go wrong. Cause he didn't stay dead and he won't stay Nothing 
will stop it And one day they will know that it's true I'm trusting and awaiting Watching and praying Cause I believe it's gonna be soon favorite is another best for our friends Abby. And all the battle rages up ahead that I can see. I won't look back to the left or right cause I know he wants to be. Yes, I'm walking on a few dollars. And since we're on the road with best, this one by Jason Davidson. Best song he's ever had. And it's one of my favorites for the week. It's my pick. Jason Davidson. Yeah, Thankful for that. Has given more than I could ask. And I can be thankful for that. Stay tuned to the morning show for all of your favorites and mine, just like this. Desert friend, that's all right to see. 
Cause it'll be blooming like the rose where the water's running free. And the blind will see, the deaf will hear, and the lame will walk with me. And we'll go walking on the sand where our sorrows have to flee. We'll walk right into glory where our Jesus we will see. And when we meet the Father, think how happy we will be. Then Jesus says, that's my child. Well, it has only taken 10 years to get this going. Only 10 years. But actor, director, and producer Mel Gibson, he has announced that production will begin on the sequel of his mega hit film, The Passion of the Christ. We all remember when The Passion of the Christ came out, right? Well, this spring, they will start production on the sequel to that movie. This one will be called The Resurrection. Gibson has been hard at work on the screenplay with Braveheart screenwriter Randall Wallace. They said there have already been six drafts to Resurrection that have been written and rewritten and rewritten. The movie will focus on the 24 hours encompassing Jesus' passion and the events that occurred the three days between his crucifixion and the resurrection. So that ought to be super interesting. Some of the same characters that played in The Passion of the Christ, they will play in the resurrection as well, including the character who played Jesus. Jim Cavazell, he will play the role of Jesus again. So this is a highly anticipated sequel. We have been waiting on this one for a long, long time, about 10 years. If they start production this spring, I'm sure it will take a year or two down the road before we ever see it. But I think it'll be worth waiting for. So we're highly anticipating this new one from Mel Gibson to come out. We'll all watch it when it gets here. The Resurrection. Bethlehem is just the start of the story Here he comes Oh, here he comes Here he comes teaching 
Tomorrow, the morning show will turn one year old. January the 10th is our birthday. So be sure and tune in tomorrow as we celebrate one full year of the morning show. We'll reminisce about our favorite songs, our favorite artists, and our favorite moments. And we'll do it with some guests. It's going to be a great day. So be sure and be here tomorrow. Celebrate the birthday. Well, I hope you have memorized this number, 601-906-7764, 601-906-7764. You need to have it memorized. Just last week, a listener of the morning show sent me a text, said I need the number to Lang's Locksmith. I have locked my keys in my car. You need to go ahead and have it to memory. You may not can get me when you need your car unlocked and if you have that number memorized well you can just call brother kenny up whenever you need him lang's locksmith they can take care of all your locksmith needs but as you're out christmas shopping and getting all of your things done for the holiday season you never know when you just might lock your keys in the car might lock yourself out of the house and you're gonna need brother kenny he'll come running if you will call him 601 906 
7764. And when you call Brother Kenny, you let him know that you heard about him right here on The Morning Show. Lang's Locksmith. A little bit of love and kite. It's a red sea kind of moment. Can't believe the mess you're in. Or sleeping with the lions. The outlook looks so grim. Then God won't see. God walks in, God walks in, God walks in, you're facing down the lion, you're feeling mighty weak, or headed toward the furnace, you're sweating from the heat, then God walks in, God walks in. No matter what you 